So welcome to the Williamsburg Art and Historical Center, one of the greatest institutions in Brooklyn, perhaps the world. Part of the reason for that is because we have a wonderful salon membership organization. And I do believe it is the greatest uh, artist membership organization in the world today, truly, I mean that too. I've seen 15 years of this, and every year it improved. And so we have today a very fantastic exhibit. And I want to tell you why. I want to introduce to you a very great lady who founded the Williamsburg Art and Historical Center. Hugo, could you come forward? Now, Hugo, Hugo, would you come stand here? Great. And uh, back in 1996, this wonderful lady was driving by uh, this dilapidated old building in a very dangerous part of Brooklyn. It was Williamsburg. And you could, couldn't go out on the street at night, so you'd be murdered or robbed, mugged, you know. And there were burnt out cars in Williamsburg, and very few people, uh, except for gangsters, would wander the streets. Well, she bought a building and uh, it was an artist residence building. It was broken down too. She fixed it up through her own labor, much of it, because she was, was not very rich at the time. And, uh, and even now, she says. Uh, uh, in any case, she worked with the local community and the police. There were a lot of decent people still living here too, and there were, there were poor people. But she worked with them and the police and together they started to clean up Williamsburg and made it a safer place. Artists began to move in from Manhattan because they couldn't afford the rents. And uh, pretty soon uh, things improved a little at a time. And then the real estate people discovered the area too because the artists were moving in. And real estate people and the richer people always follow the artists. Why is that? I don't know. But they're following you. They're keeping an eye on you. They may not buy your art. <laughs> but they want to know where you're going to live. So as a result, uh, over a period of years, Williamsburg became a very prosperous area. The real estate people bought it and started fixing things up. Again, they work with the police, they work with the you know, community. And so today you have one of the preeminent communities in the world to live. And a very young artistic community uh, back uh, when Yuko started out, we had a, 1996, maybe a thousand artists. We grew to about 10,000. I don't know how many are artists who live here today because I think they've been priced out, many of the artists too. Now, as a result, uh, the government recognized Yuko and she got an award from uh, Howard Golden, then Borough President, naming her Woman of the Year for all of her achievements. In yes. That's not the only award. But he said that she has, through her activities, transformed all the northern part of Brooklyn. She's given credit for a lot of the changes here, and, and he's right. Subsequently, George Pataki, governor of New York, named her a Woman of the Year, along with, I think, uh, four other very prestigious women, whom you would know, like Diane Sawyer, uh, the, the newscaster. She was named a Woman of the Year and uh, for her, her great achievements here. After that, Marty Markowitz, our late borough president, not late, not dead, but he's been replaced, and we're very sorry about that because we loved him very much. 
Uh, he gave her a Woman of the Year award. Besides that, he named her another, he gave her another award, the Asian Arts Award. And also, uh, uh, she was given a Citizens Award by Tracy Boyland, uh, a, a member of the City Council. And most recently, just last year, in March, she was given the Pratt Institute uh, Achievement Award. And that's per perhaps possibly one of the most prestigious awards internationally because uh, the graduates of Pratt Institute have achieved great high honors all around the world for their design, the architecture, and everything else. And of course, Yuko was a graduate of Pratt, that's why she got the award too. But, but for very high achievements. She's the mo one of the, she is the most highly achieved woman that I personally know. And uh, so, in any case, you can thank her for, for having done all of this and created a great art institution that became internationally recognized. And so I'm going to give you Yuko Ni, the greatest human being I know. Thank you very much. And Terence Lindor is the president of the War Center. And he's been working very, very hard behind me, behind the War Center. So I want to thank Terence Lindor for 17 years of hardship. And not only Terence, we have, the, we have so many volunteers who have helped us. And we couldn't afford paying individual volunteers. So they are all volunteers. So I would like to thank all the volunteers who have come this far to make the Mars Center today's Mars Center. Thank you very much. And that is all the people working hard behind the scenes. But artists who presented wonderful works, I have to thank all of the artists who participated in the show in the past. And then today is the 15th annual Mar Salon Show. So I want to thank all the artists, 71 artists, and 130 pieces are hung here. And then today I am sorry to mention that our wonderful coordinator, Mary Wesley, and she broke her ankle on Christmas Day. And so she is not joining us today, unfortunately. She has been always helpful for 14 years. Now, on behalf of Mary Wesleyan, coordinator of the Mar Salon, we have a wonderful young lady whose name is Brittany Natale, and she is my assistant. Please come, Brittany. So, you can see the Mar Center's brief concept and that is our mission statement. So, old and young, men and women, fine art and performing art, poetry reading, film, all the creative art will come to the War Center. And Wa in Japanese means peace, harmony, and unity. So it is appropriate for all of us to come to share the beautiful works, beautiful performance, and in peace throughout the international language of art. We come to understand each other, and then we respect each other, and we love each other. So that's what War Center means. And then Brittany, as young as she is, she is very, very capable, and I am very thankful to be with us. And not, I cannot even mention so many wonderful volunteers, interns, I don't name them, but my big thanks goes to everybody. Okay, so thank you. And
Lebensraum. Therefore, it is no great thing 
If it's ministers, he transformed as the ministers of righteousness. They will perform wonderful works for humanity. And feed us milk and honey, but it will be bitter in our mouths, like that little book of John. The number of the beast is the number of a man, and his number is 666. Understand one thing. The kingdom under the Antichrist more glorious than any earthly kingdom. 